Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. We said it inside the octagon. The veteran voice is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Iron Michael Chandler. And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the former UFC flyweight champion of the world, Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson. You ready? You ready? Good. All right, round getting underway here. Iron Michael Chandler said when he signed with the UFC, he was not here for a long time. He was here for a good time. And for fight fans around the world, it has certainly been a good time watching Michael Chandler certainly put a capstone on his UFC run with that knockout of Tony Ferguson. But he wants UFC gold, and if he doesn't get a win tonight, he may never get back to the top of the heat. We'll see how he approaches this particular stylistic challenge. of the transition. Nice scramble. All right, so there's that power right from Michael Chandler. We talked a lot about mixing it up this week, but that right hand is his weapon of choice, and he found the button early. It is his weapon of choice, and I think a lot of his success is based on the fact that he's such a high-level wrestler. So when he level changes, people tend to drop their hands, and Chandler drops that big right hand on him. I think this is one of the best athletes in the entire UFC. Chandler's in half guard. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. All right, north-south position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. Chandler's got him in a crucifix. Going to work from the top now. Look at him attack that arm triangle on the opposite side. When it's time to finish, Great submission defense. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Nice job by him to still be a threat off of his back. Yep, got to be very careful there. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move. You got to shrimp. You got to get off on a hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to hold him. Yeah, absolutely. Go. Side control. All right, so yet another ground and pound strike lands right there, DC. He's getting very active now that he knows he can land these strikes. Johnson's going for the sub here. Oh, that sub is tight. It looks like he's trying to get this arm triangle. All he's got to do is get to the side, get his chest down to the mat, and he'll get the finish. Gives up on the submission. Looked pretty tight to me. Uh, Second round, straight ahead. Uh, All right, take a seat for me, bud. Breathe. Right, deep breath in. All right, here's some water. Ready? Listen. All right. Now you're doing awesome out there. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round on the way. Great punch. And just misses with that big right hand. Oh, nice. Nice. 
All right, so he finally gets the takedown here. He kept on trying, stayed committed. He told us before the fight, at some point, I'm gonna be able to take him down, and that's exactly the way it played out. Start throwing now. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. Oh, nice elbow. Wrestling help here. Just as the referee will never take a guy out of mount, they will not take a guy off of your back. You have to get him out of his position. That was nice. Johnson's right back to the full mount. Oh, the ground and pound is there. Push him off. Chandler's in half guard now. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. All right, north-south position here. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this, DC. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in the gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Another ground and pound strike gets home. Oh, he passes the half guard now. And he's not posturing the land punches, so look for a submission attempt. Well, the more things change, the more they stick. He's got that arm triangle. Watch him pass to the opposite side. It looks real tight. He'll drop his weight to try to finish his technique. Had the submission in very tight, but as it started to slip, he went right back to the dominant position. Final seconds here of round two. Both fighters hanging. Oh, oh, he's got a really oh, oh, huge connection there. He landed it perfectly. Perfect placement. Perfect position. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. Shot by Johnson to catch the leg kick. Lands a big right hand there. Beautiful. Ground and pound the hammer. Mark Coleman would be proud. Man, he's killing it on the ground. Another strike gets through. He passed the half guard. Johnson's looking to pass out of the half guard here and get that side control, but he is denied by the opposition. Posture's up now. Oh, and delivers. Huge punch to the head there. All right inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out. Our guys start to attack triangle. So the fighter's able to reverse position on the ground, and now he's got the dominant position. Yeah, what a great job recognizing that once he got the reversal, he went right to his offense. He didn't wait, John. He did a good job of while his opponent goes, oh, my goodness, I lost the position. He said, no, no, we're not done. I'm going to get to a dominant position myself. Ooh, this could be it. That thing is tight. That arm triangle is deep. Oh, and now he gives up on the submission. Oh, he puts his knee on belly. Might be a submission attempt here, Chandler. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Well, he grounded him, and now he's trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. 
Another strike gets through from the top position. Pretty accurate there from bottom position. Ooh, looks like another submission attempt now. Oh, I'm no expert, but that Von Flew choke looks locked in. Ooh, nice adjustment by the offensive fighter. He jumps to the opposite side, but now he's got it in an off drive. Oh, somehow he gets out. Fantastic submission, D. His work, I'm gonna stand this up. Oh, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. All right, he remains in pursuit of the submission, but the defense continues to hold up. I'm not sure he's going to be able to find the finish here. In MMA today, guys are so well-rounded, they're so gifted. It's hard to just lock up the submission, but he continues to try. And in those efforts, he has given himself a chance to win this fight. I've never been submitted. You never have? Nope. Lucky guy. I, I have. <laughs> Yes, smart adjustment, yep. Great submission defense on display tonight. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. All right, so a lot to like over the distance of that fight tonight. Clearly, we think we saw one guy win the fight and largely got it done with the striking. Yeah, he got it done with the striking. And that's exactly what he's known for. He's known as a guy that's so comfortable whenever he's in the stand-up. And that show tonight as he truly outworked his opponent. All right, the official decision is in. It resides with the venerable Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. The judges score the contest 29-28, 30-28, 29-28. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson. So with the target planted firmly on his back, as usual, the UFC's only flyweight champion, Demetrius Johnson, finds a way to get it done yet again. It is just a marvel watching this guy perform and mix all of the martial arts together seamlessly, as conditioned as any fighter in any division, and maybe has the best technique when it comes to mixing all the martial arts as well. So no surprise that DJ with style points.